Du lytter til en særudgave af Brøndby Lyd. I dag skal vi blive klogere på en af Brøndbys hardhitter på midtbanen. Han hedder Josip Radosevic. Han har spillet i Brøndby siden sommeren 2018 og går måske nogle gange lidt under radaren i hvert fald udad til. Men i dag skal vi lære ham bedre at kende, for han har sagt ja til at medvirke i et interview her i, i Brøndby Lyd. Så lige om lidt, så slår jeg tilbage i, i engelsk, så jeg kan tale med, med Josip. Men først, så skal jeg selvfølgelig lige have sagt, at hovedpartner her i Brøndby Lyd, det er Arbejdernes Landsbank, og de er også hovedpartner på, på den her udsendelse. And then, in English, Josip, did you understand anything of what I just said in Danish? Maybe that you say then I come like, I don't know, something like this yes that's not, true yeah yeah in the beginning but the yeah. rest not not a lot is it is a difficult language uh, the danish one yeah for me is like like uh, the same what other people said about the croatian language also mm. it's hard yeah it's the same yeah english is much so, easy Italian yeah is we'll do uh, we'll do english today because it's better for you and it's better for me but actually yeah. when you entered the room because i just talked to blas you spoke mm-hmm. spanish yeah i can i can also speak uh, with him spanish almost o- almost i can understand mm. but uh, speaking also i can do much better italian because i do i i live there two years and i almost i can speak italian far, m- much easier So you speak English, Italian, Spanish. <laughs> that's yeah. that's the dream for many people. But uh, yeah, today yeah. we'll do English. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Josip, I, I I want to to begin with the, where the team is right now. You are number one in the table, and you're doing really well. Um, what do you think about the team performances this season? Actually, from uh, <clears throat> from the beginning, the season, everybody have the structure then we need to work really hard take care for yourself and uh, we do from the first day and actually we have really good position but also in the future um, we do day day by day and every day uh, just uh, take care for yourself for the team and uh, just be better but you came to Brunby in a season we just lost the championship and yeah, yeah. we thought that maybe we should fight for the championship and that did not happen but now you are there with a younger squad um, are you surprised about this season actually i know from the beginning then we also have the really good squad also for a little bit older the players mm. and also the young players it's a really good potential potential and uh, uh, for me it's uh, it's not too fair then to say then I'm not like surprised I'm surprised but I know how how we can do when we stay together when we work one each uh, one for the other one mm. and uh, actually we don't have pressure we just we just do your your job We just enjoy and uh, just go every day by day, like uh, be better from day before. Learn some ha. things and uh, this put to the team, this put to the pitch and uh, just do do yourself. Do everything. How do you see your own uh, role in this team? Uh, I think it's, it's also, you know, this is hard from the team. This is also a really, really important position from both sides, mm. also left, right, behind, forward. And uh, I see this season really good. And uh, actually, because we do like uh, like team, we work one, one for the other one. And actually, I'm really happy. But you are one of the more guys with experience. Um, do you try and, and help the younger guys? Of course, uh, then also here, here also have the like the like the stuff and the, also the rest of the team. I almost want to do with my job and the small things because also the young guys, then also they know a lot of, and actually also then want to 
to do the all the best maybe sometimes then do mistake but actually when then try and do the best you just forget and help them mm. and um, we have seen some games you play as a number six uh, some games as a number eight um, where do you think you are uh, the best in this uh, in this formation actually when we play like uh, when we play five three two actually i i'm most comfortable and i like most and i know then i then can i give give all the best in the number six but when we play also with two sixes is four four two example mm. also is the same also is the same because actually this little bit change always like uh, always depend the system but actually i i do what what coach want from me and uh, in a depend of the time when the team want me and can you tell us a little bit about what it is that nils wants from you when you go on the pitch what does nils tell you what is your job on the pitch yeah this is also you know depend of the team who depend of the against team who against who, who we play because actually every uh, uh, each team play different system or different style of playing then have one of good things one of bad things but actually always is uh, it's a lot of things mm. because this is hurt from the team you need to go you need to congratulate the ball you need to pass the ball you need to uh, bring the ball from the defender put the to the winger put the, the number eight it's a lot of things but i like And, and you're I, very good in in especially the pressuring um in the pressure do you have like um some responsibility in the pressure to get the rest of the team up in the in the right moments yeah actually we have also some point the uh, when when can we the make the pressure and actually when we do when we do this do together actually help each one And also maybe other guys help me a lot because actually I I can't do this alone. Um, then I just have to find the right page. <laughs> yeah. um, in the midfield, you play with some very young guys. Mostly it's you, Jobe, and Frantrup. Um, first of all, Morten Frantrup. How good do you think he can get? How big is his potential? Actually, I like him from the first day when I came here. Maybe the first two years he don't play a lot, almost almost nothing, and then actually when I'm in injury he mm. he start to play, and uh, I'm really happy for the first day from him. He always do yourself. He always do uh, your job uh, in the pitch, without, in in out the pitch in the fitness, and is re really um, really professional guy. I mm. like him, and uh, he can, he can, he he in the future he really have good potential for for make the one day big transfer, and uh, it's just you know just about him, and but for now he do your best. Mm. And then there's Jabe. He's a very different type of of player um what is your relationship with job actually is like other guys it's really good and uh, it's important everybody have your task in this team and job also have your task and uh, he 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 make really 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 good job for the team and uh, it's have a really big talent And uh, just need to stay focused for small details every day, and uh, don't put the head up. Just mm -hmm. stay in the job, mm -hmm. and it will be everything good. We have seen many times when you celebrate the goals, you and Jabi, yeah. you're very <laughs> yeah, stay <laughs> you, together. You, yeah, yes, yeah. you like each other. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I like it. You know, it's also it's good moment when I make assist from him, and also mm -hmm. when he score, and. Uh, in these things in these small things coming really good relationship yeah um what do you think of 
this project in Brøndby right now with many uh, young players and uh, what what do you think about it in in general? In general, I see that the club have really good potential and also now with a lot of young guys, also somebody who do, also who don't play who stay in the bench have really good potential and uh, I hope and believe believe then uh, for everybody coming the the change the, the chance uh, in this club. Mm. Um, I need to find the right paper again. <laughs> But um, how do you feel that the difference between the Brunby you came to uh, when you ch- changed to Brunby, it was a different Brunby and to the Brunby now, what are the differences? Actually, when I came here, it's also, it's uh, we play also different kinds of styling we have And actually, we have other coach with with your philosophy, and uh, not a lot of young guys. Mm. But actually, now, when I, what, what I see also what uh, what then do, it's like a lot of also like um, like like mix a little bit experienced guys and also young guys, and uh, I think for, for now it's really good this do, and really good job. We do everybody, and uh, we need just continue. And uh, I think in the future have really good, we have, like Bromby have really good future. Mm. Yeah. Um, as I, one of the things you understood in Danish in the beginning was that you came to the club in 2018. So uh, you've been here a few years now. Um, yeah, and in with your family too. because you have a wife and two two children, right? Yeah, still. How do you like life in uh, in Denmark? The family. Actually, I I really like a lot, and also one day when coming, then I need to go in a yeah. other club. Will will be really really hard for me and the family, because actually we here adapt it really nice, and also have um, we have also like friends here, and uh, my son starting to go to kindergarten, and my wife also what is for me really important she like here. And uh, I don't know, it will be really hard to go one mm. day. I don't know when. Maybe your son will start speaking Danish if he goes actually, to kindergarten. Yeah, yeah. actually, uh, we have also uh, uh, friends too close to the house, like neighbor. We have then also, when, it, then, when he go to, to them and, uh, and then play to the street, he, he can understand something in Danish, but in kindergarten they just speak uh, English. Okay. Yeah. But maybe one day he comes home and speak Danish to you, and then yeah. <laughs> let's let's yeah. see if you understand him. Yeah, maybe some words. Um, what uh, I, I've seen back uh, when there was no uh, Corona, you you took your family often to the stadium. Um, yeah. Do they like to come in uh, in Bromby Stadium? Yeah, of course. My my wife don't 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 want to uh, lose the match. When it's possible now for the corona, uh, she look sometimes to the TV, but it's not like when she feel like stadium, like fans, like atmosphere. Mm. And she tell me then she also miss to be here. Yeah. And what the, your 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 tri- children? Um, how old are they? Uh, actually, the Gabriel big one here three years and uh, two month, and the small one uh, Rocco here uh, one year and two month. Exactly the same as my son. Ah, exactly. good. Good, good, good. So he's running around now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Big one have the power. Just want to play. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I also uh, you want to talk a little bit about uh, your past um, yeah. because uh, can you can you try and explain how was it for a young Croatian football player to go in a very young age from Hajduk to a big club like uh, Napoli? Yeah, um, actually, for me, it's. I also go when I when I play in Hajduk. I want to say this first. When I play in Hajduk, actually, uh, I'm from I'm like 30 minutes from Split, mm. and uh, when I was when I played like last two years in the Hajduk, I always live in the Split. Uh, for me, it's like one hand. It's not big change to go mm. to Napoli. 
and uh, one other hand it's really hard because it actually is really different mentality of the people uh, really different the, cu- the country and uh, also the napoli is different clubs compared to other clubs in italy also the about the fans and about the living and in the beginning it's for me it's really hard to be in there but also when i see now i'm happy you know because what what don't kill you in the life you mm. make stronger after this yeah you learned a lot yeah yeah, yeah it's true it's true what did you learn from from that experience <laughs> Actually, I learned a lot about the also about also the football, about the like private life, about a lot of things. And I, I'm really for this uh, happy. And also the football, I I change to like two three really big coaches, and uh, I play with uh, really f- like famous like big big players. And uh, when we play with them, you can see then. You can see a lot of things, what you see before just for the TV. Yeah, because you you have also been in uh, in Spain and yeah. you've been in in Austria. Yeah. Um, where was the best experience for you, uh, as you remember now? Actually, um, I like also the Spain because people really i don't know in different way than really enjoy to the football mm. and uh, also outside the, in the life in the street and uh, when i when i was also when i've been in the it's Eibar, it's like small the clubs in the zona in it's a north to the spain yeah. it's a, it's like basquia one part of the spain and uh, i i'm also really like the spanish the football mm. it's really really good And also when I was in the Red Bull Salzburg, also I like, and uh, I'm really happy, you know, to be in these really big clubs. Yeah, because you, it is really big clubs. And then yeah. Brunby, I know for me, Brunby is the biggest club in the world, but of course, um, in the for the objective spectator, maybe Napoli is a big, uh, bigger. <laughs> so, so why did you choose to come to Brunby if you remember back now? I choose, you know, Ante, Ante uh, called me first time because he came two months before before mm-hmm. me and he told me everything good about the clubs, uh, about the city, about a lot of things. And uh, because actually I'm, I've been uh, in one hand because when, when I when I need to go also with family, I need to I need to know when I go. And uh, when he tell me these things. Uh, okay, I I just take this offer from Bromby and I'm came here and and uh, from first day I'm really happy to be here, mm-hmm. one of part of these big clubs, and uh, also now in the moment really we we really enjoy and uh, just we need to continue. Do you miss Ante? Yes, I miss him, <laughs> but also you know I'm I'm also happy because he's happy, you know. Mm-hmm. Now when he play in the Croatia and. It's yeah. Okay. yeah. You also have uh, yourself been back to Croatia a few times in uh, in your career. Yeah. Um what 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 does your 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 home country and maybe most of all Hajduk Split mean yeah. uh, to you? Actually uh, uh sorry can you exp- can you can you try again? Yeah, what what does uh, Croatia and Hajduk mean to you? Uh-huh. Actually Croatia is like my country. I don't know. I I can just say it. then I love my country, and uh, this is like 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 um, I can sometimes I can't explain about mm. the words. I just can say then I really love my country, and also I really love my 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 ex uh, club Hajduk. Actually, I was played there like 12 years from it's it's a really really big time and uh, they they stay always in my heart do you dream of going back to Hajduk one day actually nobody don't know in life what is happen but now i'm here i'm really focused here i'm enjoy here and we will see you never know in the future 
but you are 26 you have many uh, years uh, left on the yeah. on the pitch um do you dream of going back to one of the the big leagues again in Italy or Spain or wherever actually i just i i want to go in club who want me also with, uh, one day i'm now here i'm completely, completely focused here but in future i don't know i can say i just want to go maybe one club who want me with a clear pro- project with clear structure like here now and um, will be good everything or maybe stay in Bramby? you never know mm. I'm, i'm you know i'm i'm, I'm open for everything mm. yeah um i um i also know that you are religious man uh Josip. Uh, can can you try and explain what uh your religion means in your life actually uh i believe in god and uh, i know that he helped me a lot in the, my life like football life and also like private life and uh, i'm really i can say him thank you for the my family for the my wife for the my kids and also thank you for the what i say here and uh, just i don't know i also make mistake in my life but i want to be better every day mm. it is just simple okay i as i told you uh, in in the beginning we also have some questions from the fans and yeah. we have we i really got many many good questions uh, but i picked i picked some of them out okay so um, the first question is from uh, jonas willumsen he asks what makes brandby different from the other clubs you have been playing in it's a it's a really good question actually i never stay in other club more than two years mm. i'm here almost three years mm. and this this can say a lot of about me and about what i think about the clubs and what i think about the people who work here the players and also the city and everything actually i really enjoy here and um, i like i have feeling i'm i never i'm never tired you know about something i just you know i have the power also for every day for the, bring this power here in the club in the pitch for teammates and uh, i really enjoy good and then the next question is from uh, clement westfail he asks who are your best friends in the team uh, actually I, i'm really good i have really good relationship relationship with uh, every player but now when andrea came i'm just almost close with him and also It's German guys. I was good, and just for, for everyone with Max, uh, with uh, Jobe, with Morten, mm-hmm. with young guys. You like you like all your teammates. Yeah, it's I, uh, yeah yeah yeah. I just can say this. Uh, and then we have a question from Pierre Ferdinandsen. He asks, "What is the biggest difference between Alexander Sorniger and Nils Frederiksen?" Mm, actually, is. Uh, It's two. It's two different kind of kind of people and kind of coaches. Um, but for each one, also for Nils now, I just I, I take always a, a lot of good things. Uh, he can he have really good structure uh, against the team who we, we need to play, and he put uh, uh, he put. What 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 this, what what I saw? Mm. He put you know just clear structure about before the every game, and uh, he help uh, he help uh, he help uh, the, the the me the everybody for just uh, to stay sure what we need to make to the team. Mm. Uh, this I think this is really important, also for him, also for us, because everybody need everybody know what what they need to do. Mm. And actually, here he have a really good plan about the the trainings, about the everything, and uh, actually work good. Yeah, and about the Alex, Alex also is uh, it uh, like more German coaches. Mm. He always um, he 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 really a lot of uh, he 
he stay also f- a lot of focus with, about the team and about teammates. And uh, I want also to say it to him all the best. And yeah. Uh, then we have a question from Martin uh, Christians. He asks, what, what has been the biggest cultural difference in Denmark compared to the other countries you lived in? Uh, about the culture, uh, yeah, the, 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 the biggest uh, difference in in culture. Yeah, um, I don't know. Actually, uh, it's hard to say because also, um, also here people believe to God, uh, but this is also a question about each one. Mm. And actually, I can say uh, in in a Italy is more close to like Croatia, uh, but also what I saw here, uh, it's people, it's uh, really like um, living without the corruption. And uh, this is also one biggest part of the, of the, of the question about the human. Mm. And this is for me really important. This is maybe first of all before the religion and the, we, people here really, really living honest. Mm. in a, a lot of good ways and this I, I respect a lot yeah all right then Alex Jensen he asks uh, who is the best player you ever played with <laughs> really actually I have two three really good you can mention Kavan. all of them if you want yeah Kavan is I remember he's a really really good player also Gonzalo Higuain Uh, these matters, yeah, and uh, also Lorenzo Insigne. This, this, these guys is really good. Insigne, was yeah. he difficult to stop when he's uh, running around the legs? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really, he has really good skills and uh, the finisher. It's a really good play. All right, and then I have something uh, here in the in the end, uh, Josip, because yeah. I um I talked to to one of your t- teammates once. I know you guys were out doing some paintball at one time. And yeah. Then I talked to one of the guys and he said, Josip was crazy. Paintball <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you remember? Yeah, yeah, I remember. I remember. Is it true that you got shot and you just did this? I I, don't, I I can't I can't remember this. I don't know. Maybe it's happened, but I'm not sure, you know, because actually we play We need to stay like when you when you get the the I don't know how his name when you get the how his name is this when, when you when get you, the shot the shot when you get mm. the shot you need to go out you know mm. but I, I don't know maybe it's happened you know when we play and everybody want to 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 win and I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it's because you you want to win, I guess. If you did it, maybe you don't remember. But if you yeah. did, it's because you want to win, I guess. Yeah, yeah, it's true. For this, I say, you know. Yeah. How how much would you describe yourself as a winner? Actually, I I also have sometimes uh, different times in my life, and uh, actually. And always is about the question: you need to win or you need to lose. And uh, I'm I'm like this, like when I was young. And actually, I just want to win. You know why 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 I train, why I do all the best every day, just for the win. Sometimes, of course, you need to respect the uh, the the team against who you play. And uh, but this is a feeling inside me, and I just want to follow this. And also, I need to to be like respect from other one when we lose. Mm. But always, it's this is inside for me. And next time you guys play play paintball, we will come and we will film yeah. it, so yeah, we will yeah. see. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But uh, Josip, uh, I want to say thank you for uh, for participating and uh, yeah. answering all the the questions. And thank you, you you too, and uh, all the fans about the questions and. Um, And I think I I I'm told everything what I what what you ask me. Actually, I also uh, I also got um, I got some uh, some messages from uh, Napoli fans mm-hmm. telling you that uh, 
they still uh, they still see you as a part of the the Napoli family. Thank you, thank you, for Napoli. And uh, Josip, I hope that uh, you guys are ready for Michelin on uh, thank you. Sunday. Thank you. Take the take the three points, and uh, then I'm going back to uh, to Danish. Thank you. Thank you. Tak til, til Josip og tak til jer derude, som, som lyttede med. Tusind tak til Arbejdernes Landsbank, som er vores hovedpartner her i Brøndby Lyd, og på alle vores udsendelser, også særudgaver som den her. Jeg håber, at I blev lidt klogere på Brøndbys nummer 22, og så er der ikke så meget tilbage fra mig her andet end at sige, vi lyttes ved på genhør.